Okay, before we begin, this is for the Wii version. 3DS version has a number of different mechanics. I've never played it, so I can't really tell you. Controls are simple. You shoot, and you reload. That's it. There are two ways to reload. First way being to shake the Wiimote. Depending on your weapon, you may also have access to an alternate reload, where you just simply press A. Heavy fire doesn't use a conventional life bar. If you get hit, you accumulate a bullet hole. Accumulate three bullet holes, you're dead. Fortunately, this number resets each stage. If you die, you can continue. You'll have to restart the stage. You have two continues. In two-player mode, each player roughly alternates getting hit. Not always, but they will never be more than one hit point apart. If one player gets shot three times, they set the rest of the stage out. If the other player manages to beat the stage, they'll come back. If both players die, you have to continue. Exclamation marks indicate enemies that might shoot you soon. Might. There's no set time between when they appear and when you get shot. Score is something you're gonna care about in this game. When you earn a specific amount of points, you rank up. Every time you rank up, you get a better weapon. You earn points by shooting stuff. Killing a terrorist is 10 points. You'll get bonus points for getting certain awards. Here's how to get them. I'm not sure what this one is. I was under the impression you got it for shooting an enemy in the head, although it seemed random if you got credit for it or not. Taking sequels into account, I believe it's awarded for shooting enemies from great distances. Although the distance is entirely arbitrary, it's not consistent at all. It seems to just boil down to shooting specific enemies. Kill a leader. Duh. Destroy a barrel. Destroy a vehicle. Shoot a destructible object, aside from a car or barrel. I know signs and stall displays count, at least. There may be more. Kill three enemies in rapid succession. Shoot four enemies in rapid succession. Shoot five enemies in rapid succession. Shoot a teammate. Yes, that's a negative sign. This one isn't really a bonus. Upon beating the game, you, or each player, can earn a medal depending on various criteria. Helpfully listed in the game, so I'll just let it explain itself. Okay, none of the guns are named, and I'm not an expert, so just bear with me here. You start off as a private with a 9mm handgun. Magazine is 30 rounds, though. At least they sprung for the good gear. Otherwise, it sucks. But you probably already knew that. It's the first weapon you'll get. You become Private First Class at 800 points and get a slightly better handgun. It's got a magazine size of 45. That's pretty serious for a handgun. Otherwise, it's basically the same gun. You become Corporal at 1100 points and get a submachine gun. It's fully automatic, as is every other weapon you get after this. It has a magazine of 60 bullets. Nice. Sergeant at 4,000 points. Gets you another SMG. Looks like an MP5 to me. And it can hold 90 bullets. Hot damn. Become Staff Sergeant at 6,000 points. And get an assault rifle. It can hold 120 bullets. Holy shit. It can also be reloaded the alternate way as can all subsequent weapons. Master Sergeant at 8,000 points gets you another rifle. It holds 150 bullets, somehow. And finally, Sergeant Major at 10,000 points gets you a submachine gun, pretty distinctly a P90. It can hold 250 bullets. 250. 250 bullets in a submachine gun. God damn. What, is this thing modified to be belt fed? Your standard bad guy makes up just about everyone you ever see. They appear and shoot you. Enough said. Well, okay, some just run across the screen and vanish. They're free kills. One shot will kill any terrorist. Leaders just hold up their rifles in the air. They won't ever attack. They're just free kills. And they give you a bonus to boot. 
Know who to shoot first. Not all enemies are created equal. Closer enemies are more dangerous than further enemies. Enemies also tend to be more dangerous the closer they are to the middle of the screen. Although not always. However, all enemies that appear in the same area seem to have the same level of danger. So if a guy pops up in a window and shoots you right away, you'll want to focus on that window and shoot anybody that pops up. Because they're all going to do it. Always use alternate reloads once you can. It allows you to instantly reload without moving your aim. Trust me, you'll need it. Although it's worth points, blowing up barrels and cars can obscure enemies with the resulting smoke and flames, potentially resulting in you getting shot. You might want to leave them alone, or at least not blow them up until you start to move. Although the weapons are technically unlockables, they're a basic gameplay mechanic and it would be redundant. The game has no cheats proper, but if the game's too hard for you, use two-player mode. The enemies are slightly more dangerous, but the perks outweigh this. Even if you don't have a friend to help you, you could always just dual wield for double the firepower. Or you could just simply use the second player as an extra three hits. May not sound like a lot, but trust me, it makes a world of difference. Okay, I think you're ready for the game.